Okay, this video is going to show you how to add a new TCP IP port for an existing uh, print driver. So if you have a printer that already has a print driver installed for it, uh, but the IP address of the printer had to change, this will show you how to add a new TCP IP port, and that way you don't have to go through the process of adding a whole new printer and deleting the old one. Uh, it just will be more seamless. So depending on your Windows operating system, whether it's 11 or an older one, um, there are two kind of avenues to take to get to the settings page. I'll show you both, um, but both are going to start with going to your control panel um, and view devices and printers here. If you have the icon search, um, if it looks like this or this, just find the one that says devices and printers. doesn't matter. All it takes you to the same place. So you're going to click on that. If you have Windows 11, it's automatically going to come up Bluetooth and devices, and then you'll see printers and scanners. Just find the one you want to work with. Um, I'm going to use a demo here. If you have an older operating system, you know, Windows 10, 8, whatever it may be, you're going to see a screen that looks like this. You'll find your printer here, and you will right-click and go to Printer Properties um, and select the one. But if you have Windows 11, you're going to see this, and you'll go to Printer Properties here. So either way, find that Printer Properties tab. Once you're there, go to ports and go to add port, standard TCP IP port, and hit new port. Next, and this is where you'll put in your IP address for the printer, uh, the new IP address. If you don't memorize it or, or know it by heart, go check for it. Um, it has to be correct, obviously, for this to work. Um, so I'm just going to put a test in. Obviously, your IP address probably will be different. Enter it and hit next. Um, after just a few moments, you should get this screen. If you don't and says it can't be detected, uh, triple check to make sure that you have the right IP address. It could be wrong. Um, if it can't detect it, that means it didn't find a device on your network that has that IP address in it. Afterwards, you can hit finish and close here. And then just hover over the one that's checked and make sure that that reflects the new IP address that you want. And then you can hit apply and OK and you're done. Maybe send a test print, hit this print test page, um, send it a test print. I'll go through the same process with you um, for, again, the older operating systems that pull you into this page. Uh, essentially, you are just going to right-click on whatever printer you want and go to Printer Properties, Ports, and go to that same process of Add Port, Standard TCP IP Port, New Port. Put that IP address in here. I'm not going to go through it again because I've already created a new port. Um, and then once it finds it, hit you can hit cancel here and then apply here. And then you are done.